Well, just by way of announcement, ladies and gentlemen, we anticipated the site plan today that has not been provided to us by Nextera. They have promised it to us by the 31st. We will, at that time, we will view that June the 3rd in this room in executive session. Do not anticipate approving it that day. Extended executive session. Yeah, right. It's, it's going to be over that will take a while to look at. Hours. Most likely, well, James Neal will be here. Probably uh, an engineer to answer questions we might have uh, on that day. But do not anticipate approving that that day. Um, we won't. We won't. Yeah. Um, nothing will be released. It's all relative to the term sheet that we're still in negotiations with. Or for, however you want to put that. So, that's what's going on. Will be no win discussion next week. No, there, uh, we'll meet the 28th and uh, there'll be nothing more to discuss that day. It'll be no Right. Just normal. Do you even anticipate an executive session no. with Mr. Neal? Nope. No. Nope. He will not be here. Okay. And I guess this is, seems like a Monday to me, but it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but. And we won't be here Monday either. It'll be Tuesday. Right. right. Yeah, it'll be Tuesday. And then the next week, that the third meeting is going to be, uh, we will be in executive session for at least two and a half, three hours. And probably be no comment after that. So I'd say really the next two weeks, give us some time to, Digest a site plan. <clears throat> Is that correct, Gary? Yes. And and we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, making progress. Uh, looking good. Good for Is it? It's coming. But, uh, I don't sleep the dogs on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let the dogs out. <laughs> Quick question to ask you. Yeah. So, I think. so I, I'm trying to, the, the site plan uh, obviously is tied to the negotiations that you're currently in on the term sheet. Right. So, kind of A has to happen before B can happen. That's is correct. That what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The different scenarios with the different yeah. setbacks. Yeah. Okay. So, are they going to provide different site maps to, like, at this distance and that distance, or is it just, I mean? No, yeah, we don't know, but probably not either. Anticipate that. Okay. We got some, there's some options that they're going to, they're working with and, and uh, some of the things. And a lot of people have been saying, well, why ain't they provided us with a site plan? They provided it to everybody else right away. Well, we're in a little more unique situation, and all of you know that. We got a lot of rural housing and, and a lot of people in a non- 20, 30 acres, 10 acres, and and so that causes a lot of issues. We've got a lot of farmers that's got 40s and 80s and, and 140 acres, not sections. It makes a lot of difference on the site plan, and that's where it's caused a lot of problem. Each one of the placement of the turbo or turbines has got to be specifically, but we've more or less got it to where, you know, listen, if we don't approve them, the site plan, you know, we're going to have to approve where where them windmills are going if they're going. And, and we want to see where they're going before we do anything. And the distance. And the distance. You know, we're hopefully uh, looking at both sides, you know, because uh, the difference in the setbacks makes a lot of difference with Absolutely. where the how many a farmer could have on his 300 acres. You know, it'd make a lot of difference of what the setbacks are. 
not so much for him and his house, but for the neighbors. So there's a lot of issues that we're looking at, and and uh, and we'd like to have you all in there, but we can't. <laughs> uh, Are you sure about that? Yeah, no, you. Okay. <laughs> but but, uh, we, might but we are making some progress. I, I really uh, feel good that next year has been very open. You know, very cordial. Uh, and you can tell from the talks we've had with them, they're, they listen very closely out there at the community building. And again, appreciate all the input, both pro and con. I mean, they would, it's been good for, for everybody in Nemaha County. And I've gotten letters from people that used to live here that no longer live here that say they're impressed with the ability to have these meetings and, and work things out so that it's an agreeable process for everyone involved. And, and I think that's what we're trying to do. I, just from my perspective, I think probably the setbacks are probably one of the biggest things to keeping people who aren't participating landowners, as non-participating landowners, from being really, really upset because obviously from all the information we know that if you have wind turbines too close to you, there are a lot of negatives. Yeah. So, um, and, and you know, if the wind turbines are up for 10 or 15 or 20 years or however long they're going to be up, um, that's a long time for someone to put up with, with negative health consequences or, or not being able to use some of their land or not feeling safe on their land or whatever. So. Uh, that is really important. All those things are still currently under consideration. Yep. And I know that sounds like a broken record, but uh, uh, we could have, you know, a lot of counties, right. like Marshall County, and it, 60 days and it's done. You know, and I don't think mm -hmm. we want that. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, so, any any uh, more info on how you'll establish that uh, advisory committee? Yeah. No, I, I, mean, I don't want to rush. I just was curious. Someone asked me. We talked know. about it a little bit this morning. It's okay. Whatever. Yeah, and, and yet to be determined, I think, okay. guys. Okay, that's fine. Thanks. Yeah. The main thing is we get the moratorium in. So, you know, give us some time to settle down and think uh, which way it's going. I've uh, got some good input from citizens. I have. Uh, and we'll... Uh, I don't know, as Tim put it, to get a board that is on the top of the fence and not one side or the other. You know... Uh, well, I think they can be situation. on one side or the other, but can they be... Impartial. Yeah. 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 You need and to knowledgeable. Yes. Sure. Yep. And, and yeah, that's I mean, why we'll. And you know, it all comes back. Do you want full blown zoning? Do you want it just an ordinance against wind and solar? I mean, to me, I've heard a lot of comments. We don't want full blown zone. No. What do we need full blown zoning for? Is what they keep telling me. And I said, I'm not sure. But there. Okay. Working in different states different cities and things. There's so much difference yes. in zoning. Yes. So that's why whoever is on the committee needs to be very knowledgeable about the different kinds of zoning that can yeah. be done. And the, it can be little, it can be big, but it needs to be able to... Uh, if it goes full blown, you're gonna spend, it's, it's, it costs a lot to operate full zone. Yeah. Well, it's very interesting to, yeah. to uh, so we'll see where we want to go with that. Follow, I don't know, I've been following Marion County, Neosho County, Lyon County, you know, different counties and, and the things in their minutes. And there's not a week goes by that they don't have three or four zoning issues right. in their situations. And some of them feel like that they really have a light zoning deal. And the next one has a full bone 
you know. Uh, I think the thing we got going for us is number one, we don't have a Topeka neighboring in our, like Pottawatomie County does. Mm -hmm. Because you get into situations where, you know, if you had a section of land and you made a housing area out of it, like kind of like you did down at Corning, then all of a sudden you running cows right next to the people, and then all of a sudden the guy that's got the house wants to have three German shepherds <laughs> and or whatever, whatever dogs, you know, and then all of a sudden the dogs are causing problems with the cows. That's part of what you got to have zoning for in them situations, and that's some of the things we got to look at, you know, uh, but. We're hoping there's other routes that we can go and we're investigating it. Again, like we mentioned before, county one countywide zoning, however limited and or broad, is a huge step and will take I don't want to give a timetable, but, but that's a uh, that's a so discussion for another day. We're still thinking about that, talking about that. And the other thing most people got to understand, it's going to cost money. Yeah. If you go into this zoning thing full blown, I want to tell you that there is, that's a, a sudden drain and everyone in this but room guess is what? It's a lot easier on the commission if you have one. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth too. Yeah. Well, most of them that have them, you know, they just, okay, they take their recommendation. Now they still have to vote on it, but if you're going to go against the zoning committee, what do you got them for? Yeah, and um, they got usually nine, ten, eleven. It's usually an odd number, um, but you know, then you have some of those abstaining because they got interest in whatever, and all of a sudden, so how do you pick those then too? It's just like uh, some of the commissioners across the state; they sign leases with some of these wind farms, then they abstain from voting. So, uh, I, it's 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 uh, difficult. To say the least. Even with a committee. If you get 11 of them and two of them abstain, all of a sudden now you're down to nine. So uh, either way you look at it, I think we can get by with a, an ordinance myself, but we'll let that committee bring us some information and see which way we want to go because they, they know the county too. Uh, the people, we're going to try to pick them from all over. So, And I've heard a lot of people want to be on it. They need to be knowledgeable. Yes. Yes. Well, you can gain a lot of knowledge. <laughs> See, they didn't say that when we got to go to a commissioner that you had to be knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> you just be willing to gain a lot of knowledge. No, we're, That's true. <laughs> we've had, uh, but it's good. No, there's uh, a lot of things that we'll have to look at and, yeah. and be there. Now, this site map that you guys are going to look at and approve and, and whatever, you know, or, what, or, you know, okay, if down the road um, they decide to expand and put up more turbines, does that mean that you approve, you'll have to approve the site of any new ones that they put up also? Yeah, it's the way we understand it right now, and that's the wording we're putting forth. Uh, in other words, you know, if if whatever if there was if they decide to put a turbine next to you guys, we would there'd probably be four of us involved in that. You know, especially the non participating and all along we have you know, uh the participating is more or less between Next Era and the and the people. That's more or less their deal. The ones we're trying to protect are the are the um, and not necessarily, it's got to work both ways. Right. You know, we can't limit what a farmer can do or a person that owns land can do with their land, but yet we don't want them to infringe because of the health, safety, and welfare. Right, right. That would fall under the moratorium, I would say, in your yes. example. So all yep. we know is the moratorium is in place and what might happen in six months or two years, we don't know. You have to be determined. So you basically are not going to know anything on the term sheet for 
three four wing shift? It could be. Probably the tenth. As far as the soldier one. Probably the tenth. That's right. Yeah. That could potentially be another lengthy process. We've got to come to terms on the site plan and again, of course, then uh, go back to the term sheet because it ultimately has to be in that. So, so what's the site plan? Is that where they're specific? That's going to indicate that there will be maps showing exactly sites where uh, next there are plans to put turbines. Okay. Would, would like to. That won't be out till two weeks. That'll I'd say the tenth. The tenth. Well, yeah. It's, it's going to be out the for so us, but for, for for public for the public to see it, we don't know for sure when that'll be. Probably the tenth. <coughs> I'd say the tenth at the very earliest. Because there's a lot of. If they got 50 or 100 turbines, you're going to have to look at each individual situation, and and it just we don't want to rush it. Still a negotiating process. Is that side map going to include the transmission lines and flexion lines? The side plan? You know, I don't know. I I guess I do not know that either. Mm -hmm. Can I speak? There is a proposed That's plan. From Texas. <laughs> <laughs> you what? I'm from Texas. I'm from Carson County. That's a 30 mile square. That's 900 square miles. Of, I don't know how big is your county. Square miles. Anyway, we've got four wind farms in our county. And one of them, I'm pretty sure right now, does not have transmission lines to it. It's just sitting out there, they're just turning and nothing's going nowhere. So you got to make sure we're then transmit. They've got, if you're going to put them in, you got to get rid of it. I mean, mm -hmm. so that's one of the deals. You want to make sure we're. Well, I mean, they've got all well, the ground leased up for a transmission line, so I'm assuming they're going to put one, put one, one in. But sure. no, I don't know if it's actually going to be on See, the See, and they may have. We've got one in Dodge City that has it, and they've got it already sold, but they can't get the transmission lines okay. So that's probably the issue. Maybe could be what you know. See, don't I know don't know what I just know. I mean, yeah. Got, I, don't think I, don't I guess that's a good point, though. From here through Jackson County or wherever that needs to go, is that even? Yeah, they've got it all. Yeah. It's all. Yeah. I've I've talked to some people in Jackson County that are. Proposed on the on the line. Well, are y'all going to get to use some electricity? No, mm -hmm. we don't either. Well, it all of ours. It goes into the grid. Forward. It's sold. It's sold. But I think if you understand how REA and and KPNL works or Westar, you know they purchase it and they've got it for like the city of seneca has got a ten year contract. Well, if they don't need any. They ain't going to amend this contract just for this deal. So they sell to whoever it's going to, the way I understand it, you know, when the need arises. Now, when the when it comes up again, is there a possibility? I, I've i heard That's there is. That's kind of strange. I'd say we've got them running out there. And yeah. Our electric bill is, my son used to be in Dallas. <laughs> he told us our his and I'm, they're getting electricity from us, and it's cheaper. <laughs> We're making it for them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's a very good point, and and I'm uh, the optimum deal was, and many of you read the article that was in the Topeka paper Sunday about Fort Hay State put up their own two windmills to furnish their own electricity for their own. University, which is very commendable, you know, and that's fine, but that's a unique situation, and and it's great that that they can do that and save money and make it more economical for them, and that's fine, but uh, in a deal like this, it's just, you know, if you had 20 years of planning, 
you could make something like that work in accounting. Anything, Gary? No. Tim, anything? Thank you for the information you sent the other day. That's very good. So I think there will be no more wind discussion in this room. The balance of the day. You know, the questions about site plan or anything like that, or the calendar, put it that way. Would you mind just saying that again? Some of us in the site plan will be released by here. We'll discuss the third. In executive session, we'll, we'll not make a decision then. We will review it. Don't know when it will be released to the public. Thank you. And that's going to be a long executive session, third. And nothing more till the 10th, where it would be an open yeah. meeting yeah. till the 10th. Is that the same for zoning? Then? We're not going to. You'll talk about uh, that? No, we don't know about it. Yet to be determined. Okay. We're not going <laughs> to look at the thing 31st and come up with a deal on the third and then pick and choose 20 or 30 people and bring them in when we decide to make it public we'll probably make it public yes you know Once it's not going to be a pick and choose it'll probably be the 10th is what my we hope of course we've said that many times but <laughs> and again want to thank everybody for their comments from Yep. All the way from the zoning to the resolutions to the to the windmill placement and, and the decommissionings and, and all the things that we've been getting. Uh, tremendous help. You know, you know how long you spend sitting and looking at the computers and trying to find and you know, so you can only imagine we got so anything you send does helps. We know where to go, we know where to get it, and you know when you get into a site, like some of them you're in, Melinda, you know, you just you just don't know which one to click on. And then when you click on, 20 minutes later, you say, well, why did I get in this, you know? And so, you know, it does help. We're, we're thankful for um, the information, I am anyway. Feel free to continue. There's one right here that Mary said. <coughs> So, and I don't know whether this got walked in or, but emails and stuff are good. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.